Hello everyone. This is in continuation with various videos what we are seeing in graph theory. The next one is adjacency matrix. Adjacency matrix is a matrix with n rows and n columns. Each entry in the matrix represents one if there exists an edge i comma j between vertex i and vertex j and if there is no edge then the value will be given as zero hence the adjacency matrix contains only zeros and ones for both undirected and directed graphs if a graph is a weighted graph weights what we mean is about uh, it may be the distance or it may be the cost or it may be any factor which is which we are interested in minimizing it so if a graph is a weighted graph, then instead of ones and zeros, we can store the weight of the edge. For an undirected graph, capital G, without weights, the adjacency matrix will be AIJ, where um, it will take that particular uh, element in the matrix will take one if I comma J belongs to the edge set or J comma I belongs to the edge set. Otherwise, it will be taking value 0. Similarly, for a directed graph, capital G without weights, the adjacency matrix will be AIJ, where AIJ will take value 1. If I, J is an element of E, here you don't have this other option, J, I, because it is directed. All other elements will become 0 otherwise. Means if it does not belong to E, then it will become 0. If capital G is equal to V comma E is a weighted graph, then the weights can be stored in the adjacency matrix by modifying the definition as follows. For weighted graph G, the adjacency matrix will be AIJ, where AIJ will have WIJ, which will be the weight in the i row and j column, if i comma j belongs to edge set E. Otherwise, we will put infinity in that uh, particular element space. So let us understand these things through the following examples. Consider the below undirected graph having five vertices A, B, C, D, E and there is a self loop for D also. So if it has to be represented in an adjacency matrix, how do we do it? There is no self loop from A to A. So that is zero. Same is the case for B. Same is the case for E. Same is the case for C. So all those diagonal elements will be zeros except for D. See, that is D comma D and D, row D, column D, you have one. All other principal diagonal elements are zeros. And there is a connection between A and B, means there is an edge in between vertex A and vertex B. So there you have one. Similarly, AC has got one and uh, DA as AD has got one. Then we don't have AE, so AE will be zero. Likewise, we can fill up ones and zeros in the adjacent matrix based on the diagram. Now let us consider the example of a directed graph like this, A, B, C, D, E, again, five vertices. Um, so here the direction is important means A, B, earlier when you have this A, B, we put one in both A, B as well as B, A. Whereas here, you will put only in AB, whereas BA you will put 0. So BA is 0, AB is 1. Otherwise, it will be very similar to this, uh, wherein we will be filling up only 1s and zeros. Now, let us consider a weighted graph which is undirected. Here, weights are specified. Maybe this, this is a distance from A to B or distance from A to D like that. So wherever the distance is known, that distance will be specified here. Here it will be like a square matrix means uh, you have this A, B, C, D, E. Here everything is square matrix. Even the previous are also square matrix because you are filling up here also vertices, here also vertices. If there is no uh, root specified from A to A, so it is infinity. So wherever there is no direct uh, access, for example, A to E, there is no direct access. C to E, there is no direct access. So you put infinity over there. A to E is infinity. C to E, C to E is also infinity. Likewise, when there are weights specified, we fill up with weights. And wherever there is no direct access, 
then you specify infinity in that. This is a directed weighted graph. Here again, it will be similar except that uh, 1 to 2, it is 3. So you specify 1 to 2 as 3, whereas there is no direction from 2 to 1 that is specified as infinity. Otherwise, it is, remains the same. Whereas if you look into this, there is a route from 4 to 5 also, 5 to 4 also, and both are having weights 5 only. So 4 to 5 is 5, and even 5 to 4 is also 5. Now, let us understand about incidence matrix of undirected graph. Let capital G equal to V comma A, B, N, undirected graph. Suppose that V1, V2 and so on up to Vn are the vertices and E1, E2 and so on up to Em means N vertices, M edges. Then the incident matrix with respect to this ordering of V and E is a N by M matrix where uh, the Aij, the element will take value 1 when the edge Ej is incident with vertex Vi. Otherwise, it will take value 0. Consider the following undirected graph like this. How do we represent here? So again, it will be represented with zeros and 1. We may notice here in rows, we are specifying vertices. In columns, we are specifying edges. This is about incidence. Now, vertex V1 is incident with E1. So you put 1 over there. Vertex V1 is not incident with edge 2. So there you put uh, 0. Similarly, vertex 1 is not incident with E3, there you put 0. Likewise, wherever there is an incidence found, there you put 1, otherwise you put 0. For a directed graph, the incident matrix definition, let capital G equal to V, E be a directed graph. Suppose that V1 to Vn, n vertices are there and E1 to Em, m edges are there. Then the incidence matrix with respect to this ordering of V and E is again an n by m matrix. Uh, here what we do, if the direction is uh, outgoing arrow, you put 1. If it is incoming arrow, you put negative 1. If there is no arrow direct axis, then you put 0. That is how you do an incident matrix of directed graph. Means here it is specified here. If a vertex has an outgoing edge, we write 1. If a vertex has incoming edge, we write negative 1. If a vertex has no incoming and outgoing edge, we write 0. For example, this. let us consider this example. We may notice here. A to B is there, but there is no B to A. That means A to B, uh, I mean, uh, A and E1, for example, here, it is 1 specified because there is a root. Whereas, uh, let us see uh, B, A means B, E1, it will be negative 1, see, because it is having an incoming arrow for that. That is why it is negative 1. A and E, there is no axis only, so you put, I'm sorry, A and E6, there is no axis only, so you put 0. Likewise, we fill up this particular matrix. So this is about incidence matrix of a directed graph. In case if you find the contents of this video to be useful to you, I request you to please like it, share it with your friends and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.